How's it going everyone? I'm Coach Sean. Today we've got Natalia, an amazing yoga instructor. She's going to really put me through my paces today with some power yoga. So this is going to be really fun guys. Just follow along as best you can. I'm no expert in this, so have a laugh watching me do it and hope, hope you enjoy it at home too. So let's get to it. Yeah. Okay. You're actually going to be pleased to hear that we're going to start lying on our backs, okay? <laughs> the only rest you're going to get. <clears throat> Amazing. So whilst we're lying on our back, I just want you to take a few deep breaths. We're not going to be here for too long. Let go of any expectations that you think might happen. Belly breath in. Belly breath out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Now the next time you breathe in, I want you to take this right knee in towards your chest, interlace the fingers on top of the knee, and pull the knee so it's slightly on the outside of your ribs. So we're not going into the chest, we're going almost towards the armpit, keep the head down to the ground. You might feel a little pinching sensation in the hips. Learn to embrace and enjoy. Keep pulling it in towards the body. Breathing in. And breathing out, well done. And we're gonna straighten this leg all the way up to the sky and flex the foot. So point the toes down towards the face. We wanna keep this leg as straight as possible to get into the hamstrings. And all we're gonna do is sort of self-massage up the leg, bringing the head and shoulders off, bring the knee towards the face. Nice, <laughs> exhale, release down. Self-massage, okay. Climbing up the leg, bring it as close to the face as it'll go. Exhale, nice. You feel that in your hamstrings, yeah? Yeah, hamstrings are tough. <laughs> Hello, hamstrings. Okay, keep working up. Hold for three, two, and one. Amazing. Drop the head and shoulders down. Bend the knee. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're going to pull that right knee to the left and gaze to the right. Try and keep your right shoulder glued down to the floor if possible. Oh. <laughs> Maybe bend at the elbow if it helps to keep the hand down. So just a gentle tap, 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 pulling that knee. Breathing in. As we exhale, bring this knee back into the chest. We're gonna take the hand this time on the inside of the right knee and just open it out to the side. Feel okay? Yeah, all good. Okay, right knee in, release the right leg down. Well done. Take a deep breath in. This time we breathe out, left knee comes in. So again, we're pulling it to the outside edge of the ribs. We're not trying to get it into the chest. You will feel a little bit of a pinching in the hip flexor. Just go with it. There's no point in pussyfooting around this pose. Don't just sort of passively hold. I want you to get the most out of it. Really pull it in nice and tight. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release the leg to the sky. So push the sole of the foot all the way to the sky. Take the hands and just give yourself a little self massage as you lift the head and shoulders off. Knee comes towards the nose and then come all the way down. So just enjoy this little bit of self massage here. Really rub into all the parts of the legs that feel tight as you go up and down. And then on that last one, we're gonna lift, hold for three, two, and one. Well done, lower down. Bend the left knee, take the right hand to the outside edge of the left knee and pull it over to the right, gaze to the left. that left shoulder glued down if you can. Take a breath in. Now as we exhale, bring that left knee in towards the body. We're gonna take the left hand on the inside of the left knee and just open up to the left. Left side, side of the tight of the right. <laughs> That's normal, it will happen. We've always got a less flexible side or one that isn't as flexible yet is what I like to say. Okay, draw the knees in. We're gonna take a little bit of a rock and roll. So place the hands underneath the knees. We're gonna rock forward and back until we come all the way up to seated. So maybe do it one more time. Come up to seated, voila. Take the hands out in front, release the knees back. 
we're going to come straight into our downward facing dog so i'm mindful that we don't have too much time today so let's meet straight up and downward facing dog now pedal the feet up and down and you want your feet about hip distance apart really push into the heel of the hands now bring your big toes to touch we're going to sweep this right leg all the way into the sky so what I want from you here is to push into your right hand more than your left one to keep the shoulders nice and square. Take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, I want you to bring the knee towards the nose, curl the top of the body and tap. Nice, inhale, leg to sky. Exhale, tap. One more time. Inhale, arms are shaking. <laughs> Exhale, knee to nose, hold, tap. Now look towards the hands, flex that right foot. We're gonna try and step the foot between the hands. Nice, drop the left knee down, release the left toes. Inhale, sweep those hands up towards the sky. We're gonna bend the elbows, bring the thumbs to the base of the skull and lean. So you should really feel that on your left hip flexor. Yeah, nice soft face. Don't clench the jaw. <laughs> Inhale, and exhale, melt into it deeper, good. Now inhale, release the hands to the sky. We're gonna take the hands down towards the ground, tuck those left toes, and start to walk back, flexing that right foot towards the sky. So you should feel this in your right hamstring. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> okay, so you wanna bow the head, really go through the motions with this one. I promise your breath is the only thing that is gonna help. Now breathe in, roll the body forwards. We're gonna bring the hands into the heart center. You might wanna shimmy this right foot back a little bit closer to the body. Take a breath in. As we exhale, twist around to the right, hooking this left elbow on the outside of that right knee. So I really want you to try and aim to get the thumbs into the center of the chest here. Now, I promised you a challenging class. So tuck those left toes, lift that back knee. <laughs> nice. If you fall out, come back in, well done. Now shift the gaze towards your big right toe. Step the left foot forwards, keeping that twist. <laughs> well done. Sink the hips nice and low. And then we inhale all the way up to stand. Exhale to the heart. You okay? surviving <laughs> okay when you're ready inhale hands go high exhale fold back down inhale to that halfway lift so fingertips to the shins and exhale we fold back down plant the hands step it back into a plank hold see if you can get your hips a little high but squeeze your belly button take a breath drop down to your forearms just like this. There we go, forearm plank, everyone's favorite. <laughs> Take one more breath in. Exhale, come back up to plank. Drop the knees, hug the elbows in, chest and chin. Now push the body through, cobra pose, elbows in. Nice, exhale, downward face it. Now for anyone that's following at home, if you do need to take a child's pose at this point, please feel free. Not allowed. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Whenever you need one, take it. But just feel through the legs. Feel the different sides. Does the right leg feel a little bit longer than the left now? It does. Okay. Bring the toes to touch. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Breathe in. Push into your left hand more than your right one. As you exhale, tap the knee and nose round the top of the bat like an angry cat. Inhale, leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Exhale, now we hold here. Give your knee a little kiss if you can. <laughs> Look between the hands, flex the foot, step the foot between the hands. Nice, release the right toes, are we okay? Yeah, okay, take a breath in. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, base of the thumbs to the neck. Neck to the, thumbs to the base of the neck. Start pouring the heart towards the sky. Amazing. 
amazing breathing inhale hands to sky tuck those right toes we're going to take the fingers to the floor and start to send the weight back so really flex that left foot you should feel it all in your hamstrings drop the head so try and avoid sitting all the way back so we're taking it out really straighten that you're going to feel your hamstrings start to lengthen a lot yeah nice okay when you're ready roll the body forwards bring the hands into the heart so maybe shimmy this left foot back a little bit inhale to the sky and as we exhale pull the belly button in twist around to the right hooking that right elbow onto the left knee and look over the left shoulder Now this time you know where you're going, you're smiling, you know where you're going. Tuck the right toes, lift that back knee. One, two, up, there we go, amazing. Keep that back knee straight if we can. Great, take a breath. Now as we exhale, we're gonna step this right foot forward, look down towards your left big toe. That's where you're going, step. Yeah, <laughs> twisted chair pose, well done. Now inhale to rise. Exhale to home. Well done. So we're going to do uh, one little balance on each side. And then I'm going to do a headstand tutorial. So I'm going to get you to stand on your head. <laughs> but it should be good. Okay, so for anyone who's got a block at home, um, maybe keep one handy. So you're going to need your block. I want you to take it just a little bit out towards the right corner of your mat. Okay. Now bring the right knee into the chest, left knee into the chest. We're going to start to send this left leg back. So keep the hands into the heart centre for now. This is warrior three. So you're looking to make a T shape with your body. Point the toes down towards the ground. Now you're going to feel like you're leaning over to the right. We don't want to do that just yet. We want to keep nice and square. Nice. Now see if you can take your right hand down towards this block. And when we're on it, we're going to start to turn the body open to the side, lift the left hand into the sky for half moon pose. Well done. If you fall, come back in. Amazing. For three, two. Now don't just dump out. We're going to look down towards the ground and gently place the left foot to meet the right. Very good. <laughs> okay, swap sides. Take that block over to the left. Let's take the hands to the sky. Breathe in we're surviving power yoga okay bring the right knee into the chest this time really push down through your left big toe as we kick the right foot back take in warrior three it's a nice t-shape with the body pull the belly button and it helps well it's better at balancing than i anticipated <laughs> <laughs> So look down to your block, take your left hand onto your block, and then start to open the body towards the right side, lift the right hand up, half moon pose. I can't see what you're doing, I just trust that you're in it. <laughs> okay, for three, two, look down at the left toe, we're going to slowly bring the right foot to meet it. Well done. Okay, come down to your knees. So, I like to think that I can make headstand accessible to everybody. I'm going to show me this uh, ponytail down a little bit. So if you have got a ponytail, or if you've got something on the top of your head, you want to get rid of it. Now, don't look worried. I promise this is going to be fine. <laughs> For any first timers, um, if you have got a yoga mat, I would potentially think about folding it over just so it's a little bit more supportive for the head just a little bit softer but to be honest with you it's not completely essential the first time that you do a headstand it will feel a little bit uncomfortable so we're going to essentially make a triangle on our mat so if you place your hands down underneath your shoulders they're going to be the two bottom corners of the triangle and the top corner of your triangle is going to be your head now if you bring your head too close to your hand you are going to fall over okay disclaimer Right, now the important thing with your hands is if you just leave them flat like this, you've got no sort of leeway if you wobble. If you grip the mat, so bend the knuckles, so almost as if you're trying to pull the mat off the floor, 
you've got sort of finger toes. So the way that your toes move like this every day, your fingers will move if you start to wobble. Got it? Yeah. Make sense? Cool. So I'm gonna show you first. Please watch me first and then we'll go up. Now we're gonna take our body weight, shift it over and drop our head as far away from the hands as we can. So we really have to roll and push it, otherwise if it's too close, it's not gonna work. Roll the body forwards, drop the head, very top of the head, the crown of the head down. Now try not to splay your elbows out, we want them tight and hugged in. We want like a little shelf on the back of our triceps. First step, we're gonna lift the knees off, start to walk the feet in, okay? Maybe walk them back out. Walk them in, walk them back out. So let's try that first. You've got this. So keep your knees down for now, that's it. Elbows in and try and get more of the top of your head on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now lift your toes, lift your knees, sorry. Walk your knees in, toes in. In, 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 in. And out, 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 out. One more, in, in, in. Amazing, out, out, out. Okay, drop your knees. <laughs> I'm gonna move this out of the way. I've got visions of you rolling into it. <laughs> okay. So from there, we're gonna build on this now. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna come over to you for a little bit of support, okay? So we've got the first foundations. We're gonna bend the knuckles. We've got the two corners of the triangle. We're gonna roll forward, drop the head. Take the toes, walk them in. Now phase two, maybe we try and take one knee to the back of the tricep, pop it down. Maybe the other, maybe we're coming for both, right? Now if we get here, we're gonna try and leave our knees into the center before up we go. Nice and easy. Okay, so I promise it's gonna be super easy. The worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna roll over, okay? So I want your head about here. Top of your head, top of your head, yeah? Now lift your, lift your knees, start to slowly walk in. Now if you hug these elbows towards your body, see how you've got a shelf there? Try and get one knee on. Yeah, 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 one knee. Yeah. And then the other. You've got it. All right. All right. <laughs> right. Amazing. Bring the toes together. Now we're we going to bring our knees together. <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> well done. Okay. We're doing it. Top of the head. Very crown of the head. Not too close to your hands, remember. Great. So nice and slow, nice and slow. Knees? Yeah, yeah. Now see if you can bring the knees together. Now lift, lift, push through the head. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. I like, I like the effort trying though. Right, so let's finish off with just a little bit of stretching now, yeah? Tiny bit. So come on to your hands and knees. We're gonna push that left foot all the way out. Now really push into the heel. You should feel that through the calf. Now roll the body forward, just like we did before. Take the left knee behind the left wrist with the right foot, yeah? And now shimmy that right foot all the way back. We're coming into what's called pigeon pose. Now, what I want you to do is try and focus on squaring your hips. So if you feel like you're leaning over to one side, square them. Maybe point the toe if your shin is diagonal to the top of the mat, so it'll protect the knee. If you can get it parallel, flex the foot. Take a deep breath in with the chest puffed, lifted. And now see if we can gently lower down as you breathe out. Does that feel okay on your knee? Yeah? Okay. Good, this will be lovely for those. <laughs> okay. Now whenever it feels good, just gently melt down, nice. Now try not to clench the teeth here. I want you to breathe fully. I feel like a wild Amazonian after taking my hair out. <laughs> really good, well done. towards the body. So normally we wouldn't come out of the pose this way, but there's a method to my madness. So we're gonna drop over to the left, swing the right foot round, keep that left foot in. Now take the sole of the left foot to the inner side of the right thigh, flex that right foot. Take the toes down and almost turn your belly button towards this right thigh. Inhale, lift the hands up to the sky. And as we exhale, we're gonna to start to lower the chest down first. So I'm not rounding my back. 
take the fingers down. And if you come to here, fantastic. The more we start to lower, the more we're gonna feel it in our hamstring, but only go to your own degree, okay? To walk the hands back. Yeah, well done. Sweep that right foot back. We'll come back into tabletop just so it's nice and easy to transition. So bring that right knee behind the right wrist. Shimmy that left foot back. So again, if your if your shin is more par uh, diagonal, sorry to the top of the mat, I want you to point the toe. If it's completely parallel, then flex it. So yours, I would say, point to protect the knee. And point like that. Yeah. Now try and square the hips, take a big deep breath, puff the chest, exhale. And go to your own degree, breathe. <laughs> That's probably the most important part of yoga, keep breathing. In with relaxation, out with stress. the hands in towards the body, sink the weight over to the right, swing the left leg out. Okay, nice work. And then bring the sole of the right foot towards the left thigh, flex that left toe. Turn the belly button towards the left thigh, take a breath in. And as we exhale, just start to crawl the fingertips. Now it might be a little bit different on either side. Don't take for granted that both sides are gonna be the same. Sometimes the hips are a little tighter on one side, so just go to your own degree. Yeah, it happens. I'm slowly starting to walk the body up. So we're gonna finish slightly differently. So just cross the legs. I'm gonna give you the option at home if you wanna stay in sort of a quiet meditation after this practice, that's fine. We're just gonna finish with the shoulders back, palms facing up to the sky, close down the eyes, and just simply follow the breath. 